Hi there, welcome back to my channel. And today you will see how to crochet amazing project. I will use 1.4 mm crochet hook and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. Please join me and let's get started. I'm beginning the lace. I will start from the segment, make a chain and chain of 10 for the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well done. Then yarn over the hook 5 times. Insert the hook into the first chain stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through 2 loops 6 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six. Well done. Here what I have. My unusual ring is ready. Let's continue. I continue working on my first segment. Chain of three to bring up the yarn. Turn the work. Insert the hook into the chain space. Make 16 double crochet into the chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15 and 16. I have done all my stitches. Then double crochet into the chain stitch. This is the first chain stitch. Well done. I continue working on my first segment. Now I show you what I'm going to do in the first segment. Only make a chain, turn the work, insert the hook into the first stitch, make single crochet. In total it should be eight of them. I'm done the first one. Let's crochet the second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Well done. Then I turn the work, yarn over the hook, I skip the first stitch, two, three, and insert the hook into the fourth stitch. Make double crochet. Make double crochet into the same stitch with pico. Chain of three for the pico. Insert the hook into two loops of the double crochet. Make a slip stitch. Make three double crochet into the same stitch. One, two, and three.
here what I have then chain of 10 for the chain space let's count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then turn the work yarn over the hook this is my top that I work it into I skip one and insert the hook into the second stitch make double crochet make a chain yarn over the hook I skip the next stitch and double crochet into the second stitch chain yarn over the hook insert the hook into the second stitch make double crochet chain and double crochet into the second stitch chain and double crochet I skip the next stitch and insert the hook into the chain stitch on the beginning of the previous row this is the third chains or first one from the top let's stop at this point and look at my segment I continue working on the first segment of the lace make chain of three to bring up the yarn then chain of three for the pick of one two three turn the work insert the hook into the fourth chain stitch away from the hook one two three four I insert the hook into two threads make a slip stitch my first pico is ready then chain of four for the pico one two three four insert the hook into the same chain stitch make slip stitch then chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch into the same chain stitch I'm done triple pico it looks like a small flower make a chain yarn over the hook I skip the next stitch make double crochet into the second stitch chain and double crochet into the double crochet chain and double crochet into the double crochet chain and double crochet into the double crochet here what I have work into the chain space make 16 double crochet into the chain space I will begin and you will continue by yourself one two three four five and so on till you will get 16 double crochet into the chain space keep working in this way till the end of the chain space I'm done all my stitches everything correct yarn over the hook insert the hook into the double crochet I insert the hook into two loops make double crochet well done then make quadruple travel crochet stitch yarn over the hook five times insert the hook into the chain stitch that I did before pull up a loop pull through two loops six times one two three four five and pull through two loops 
Then I'm going to work in this way as many times as I will need. Then I continue working, make a chain, then turn the work. Then I'm going to work in this way. I skip the stitch that I did in the previous time. This is the quadruple treble crochet stitch. Insert the hook into the double crochet. Make single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Then turn the work. Yarn over the hook. I skip one, two, three stitches. Insert the hook into the fourth stitch. Make double crochet. One. Then double crochet into the same stitch with pico. Chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch. I'm crocheting faster because I repeat the same pattern as I showed you before. Three double crochet into the same stitch one, then chain of ten for the chain space one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Turn the work, yarn over the hook, and let's find my stitch. I skip the stitch one. And double crochet into the second stitch. Chain 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 and double crochet into the second stitch. As you can see, I began the second segment. Well done. Then I turn the work and I'm going to work with triple pico, chain of three, then chain of three for the pico one, two, three, turn the work, insert the hook into the fourth chain stitch away from the hook, make a slip stitch. For the pico and work with a slip stitch into the same chain stitch, chain of three for the pico and work into the same chain stitch and crochet the slip stitch, chain and double crochet into the double crochet, chain and double crochet into the double crochet, chain and double crochet. Chain and double crochet. Here, what I have my beautiful triple pico is ready, it looks like a small flower. Continue chain and double crochet into the stitch, and as I did before, do 16 double crochet. Let's count them. I am beginning and you will continue by yourself till the end of the chain space. So as you can see my pattern repeats. I am done all my stitches. Here how it looks. At this point as I did before make double crochet into the double crochet. And make the stitch. Then make quadruple treble crochet stitch yarn over the hook five times one, two, three, four, five. Insert the hook into the chain stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops six times one, two, 
three, four, five, and six. Here is my beauty. You can see my lace. It is very delicate and not difficult at the same time. Then I'm repeating this part that I call it segment make a chain, turn the work. I skip the first stitch, insert the hook into the first stitch that I did into the chain space, make eight single crochet in row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then turn the work and so on. So keep working in this way as many times as you need. And now I show you how to complete my lace. Let's look at my ready project. Let's look at my ready project. I'm done a quadruple treble crochet stitch. And to complete the lace, to make a chain, that's it. My project is done. And this is lace could be perfect to create jewelry, such as bracelet, necklace, or belt. Also, it could be like an edging or trim for any your project. Also, you can join this lace to the main pattern to create neckline or a border. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. Please write comment below the video what you will get with this video tutorial and what pattern you would like to see in the next video. Good luck in crocheting and see you next time. Bye!